Hello, it's me again. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm working on my final illustrations for my project. After this, I'll be completing technical flats, which basically look like sewing patterns, except it's a full piece of clothing and not like deconstructed for sewing. Um, I'll insert some photos here for reference. Um, I'm using Sakura watercolors and colored pencils today, and the base sketch is pretty much the same as my rough sketches from last week, which you can check out um, in that video. I think it's actually two videos ago. All I did was use a light box and trace the figure over to watercolor paper. Um, I realized the multimedia paper I was using didn't hold water that well, so that's why I'm doing that. I'm using Canson XL watercolor paper, and last week I used a Denix sketchbook and the multimedia paper I mentioned, and the dimensions are 11 by 14 per our project requirements. A little recap for new watchers, maybe. I'm enrolled in a fashion illustration class, and I wanted to show my process in designing my final looks for my final project for this class. My theme can be described as fairy-like and whimsical. Um, I include things like ruffles, puffy sleeves, and like butterfly motifs and wings. It's also very colorful. I kind of strayed from my intended color palette, but I hope everything still comes out pretty cohesive in the end. Now, let's get into some questions. The first question is, do you come up with your own designs or do you sample from different places? I might have given an answer to this in the previous video already, but I mostly come up with my own designs. Um, I do look at fashion pieces or magazine spreads and various photos for inspiration. Sometimes I pick and choose little details and combine them together for a complete design. Like, maybe I like some elements from this dress here like a corset, but I like these sleeves on another piece of clothing. I might combine those together. So I don't know if that's like original or not, but I do try to change things up just to keep it more unique. Second question is, do you keep a specific aesthetic in mind when making fashion illustrations? For this project, I had to keep a specific aesthetic slash theme in mind because of my you know, my theme. Um, however, when I'm just drawing outfits casually, I try to fit it to the character style or what I would like to wear. So basically like casual wear, something colorful, but also cute and comfy. I think I usually gravitate toward that. Um, this question is from YouTube. How do you unis work in your country? You mentioned not being able to do some art classes because of your major and I was wondering how that works. Yes, I will gladly answer this. Um, I go to university on the west coast of the United States. My major is business management. But because I'm enrolled in this major pathway, it's very difficult to gain access to other classes I might have an interest in because they're either reserved for that major specifically. In this case, it would be art majors from like that art department or they requ require prerequisites that I can't even qualify for because I'm not in the program. I managed to get into this fashion illustration class because of my AP art credit from high school but I couldn't even take other classes that I first wanted to be in like painting or ceramics simply because I wasn't an art major. Um, in past semesters, I've taken like an interior design class and then I also took photography, but these were also really limited because they were, um, like for interior design, it was mainly lecture based and I couldn't get into like the hands-on actually designing class without being like an interior design major or an architecture major. Um, photography was better because I was able to be in the beginning class and they allowed like different majors into that. They usually have 
seats reserved for both majors and non-majors for beginning art classes, so that's good at least. Um, it's honestly a little sad to me because my passion lies with art, but there are many classes and resources that I won't have access to because, you know, it'd be like that. <laughs> On the flip side, I can choose any business classes I want right now, even like upper division classes, um, elective business classes, but my schedule is full of like required classes for graduation right now, so I haven't gotten much freedom in that respect either. Hmm, I think that's all. Feel free to share your own experiences with this as well. I'm not sure how unis work in other countries, and I'd like to hear... If you have an experience with that or maybe you're still in high school or something i'm not sure if this is just my university's policy or all usa colleges but maybe this is how it works everywhere um okay turns out i probably didn't need to make a whole separate video for part two because these questions didn't take up much time at all but feel free to check out that first video for a more detailed q a session and i will catch you guys next time Thank you so much for watching again and all the support and comments that you leave. I read all of them. I really appreciate the support. Thank you so much for watching like my little videos. See ya!